Hello Internet, today we're going to be taking a look at symbolic links and how to create them in PowerShell. Uh, symbolic links are a way of referencing another file somewhere on your computer, and it can be either a file or another directory. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but what this does is allow you to create a reference to that other existing file without duplicating the contents. And that means if you ever change the contents of one of them, both of them will reflect that same thing. So your con your file still exists in only one place. You just have a link to it and you can use that link for any sort of reason you may want. Um, so we're going to look at it uh, for creating both a link to a file and then a directory. This is just my editing folder. Um, so it is all the, the rendered footage from all of these videos that I do. Uh, it also has some of the edited stuff and all of that. There's also just this hello world.txt file that just has hello world of zero, just so we have some, some reference text file. So the first thing we're going to do is copy this. And so we're going to be using PowerShell for this. If you're using bash or, or sorry, if you're using command prompt, it's different. Uh, it's also different in bash. There's three different ways and the ways do not work together. Um, so PowerShell is distinct from command prompt, which isn't always the case in this case. We're going to be using PowerShell commands because PowerShell. I'll probably produce another video on using command prompt. So if you want to use that, if that's your, your workflow, you can check that out. If you use bash, there'll probably be, be a video on that as well. Um, so what we're going to do is do create a new item. So this is the standard way to create a new item in PowerShell. Items are just things on your computer. Uh, and so we're going to do a new item type of symbolic link. And then we just need to give it a path. So this path is going to be a path to the file we're creating. So that's the link. The link is, the, is where what we're creating. That's the actual like artifact. And so for this, we're just going to call this our test.txt because we're going to be copying a text file. So we might as well call this a, a text thing. These paths don't need to match. They don't need to be in the same place. They could be on separate drives, anything. Um, it doesn't really matter. And then we just need to give it a target. And so this is going to be hello world.txt just to match that existing file on my file system. And so if I run this, it's going to run and we're going to get the zero byte test.txt file. But if I click this, you'll see it's a link. So if I actually open it, we get hello world of zero. Um, there's no preview, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't actually test this beforehand, but there's no preview for text files, unfortunately, if they're if they're a symbolic link, because it's not actually a text file. It's it's just a link. This is a zero length file, but there's stuff in it. Um, and that that's just a, a nature of it being a link. Um, I should note this will only work in an administrator command prompt. I don't know why that's a requirement in this case, um, but both for a command prompt or PowerShell, you need to be an admin. Um, so that is one side effect of this, but also we can just delete this file and nothing's going to happen to that existing file. We didn't modify it at all. It was just a link. Uh, and so we can go and create another one, but this time we're going to create it to a directory. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this to a directory and a file is because there's actually a different workflow with command prompt. Command prompt actually will require you to do different things, whether you're uh, linking to another directory or a file. Um, PowerShell helps you out a little bit. So let's create another pointer to our rendered videos. So these are going to be the ones that I have actually rendered and uploaded. You're, the one you're seeing right now is going to be in this folder. Um, so we're going to create a rendered link. And so this can be anything. It's just a file path. If you want to have spaces in it, you'll need to quote it. So we just need to give it the name of the directory and we are going to uh, link that to our rendered directory. Uh, since these are all in the same directory, I don't actually need to do any path stuff, but you could do that if you wanted to. Again, this doesn't need to exist in the same place, um, but you'll see we get this rendered link folder that or directory that matches the exact same thing. And if I go into there, Here's all of the rendered files. It's the exact same thing. We, ju we just have a link to this. So if I want to put this somewhere else, and maybe there's two places where this might be useful to have, I can do that. Or if, I, or if there's some, some binary or something that I need in some specific place, but I don't really want to copy it everywhere in my file system. This gives you a way to avoid doing that. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. Um, so I can delete that. We don't remove our files. Everything's fine. Uh, it's just, 
gives us a way to kind of create these links and make our file system a little bit more useful and kind of have things where we want them to be uh, rather than where the thing actually expects itself to be. So that's that. That's the whole thing. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. So until then, see you internet.